All right, so you've dreamed of having an awesome gaming computer. Maybe a uh, Risen 9 or 9.9 like uh, we have in front of us. And uh, this video hopefully is going to help you with uh, getting these things to actually uh, turn on. So we're going to learn how to do all of our uh, panel connectors, okay, such as the power button, our USB 3.0s, 2.0s, type C's if you have that reset switch and to see the HDD uh, LED as well as the power LED. So let's get started. All right, folks, so um, we're going to do the uh, the most difficult ones. Now, these are your uh, case connectors um, for the power switch, the LED, HDD LED reset switch, and the power LED, okay? Now, there's the way I do this and the by-the-book way, okay? So, um, I'm going to show you the by-the-book way. By the book way. So, we're going to actually disconnect these. And you'll notice, um, if you're paying attention at the end of this, that these will look different than what, uh, what I had on here. Now, um, this will work uh, the way I had it, but... Uh, I want to show you the uh, the by the book way. All right. So if you see some of my videos, you will see um, that I always face uh, the text uh, in this direction. All right. And for the most part, that is uh, uh, a good way to do this. But there is one connector here that, if you do it by the book, should be reversed. Um, now it works the way I do it. I've done it that way forever. Um, it's just easier for me. But uh, we're going to do the, the by the book way. All right. So um, now if you don't have your motherboard manual, um, we've got two here. This is actually the one I'm using for this. But um, you're going to want to get familiar with this. Okay. So the uh, reason I, I'm jumping over to this bigger one, uh, or this one is because it's bigger. All right. And I've, I've marked this up uh, a little bit to make this a little easier for y'all. Now, depending on your motherboard, um, you should see markings on here that note uh, how to connect your, uh, if I can find it, sorry. You should find markings on here how to um, put those connectors in, okay? So you see that JFP1. And this is um, JFP1, all right? So that is the uh, on the motherboard how to properly uh, put these in. And there is your JFP1 connector, all right? So let's do these one at a time, all right? So over here, I have some pulled out that are easier to get to, um, just so you can see them. These guys all have uh, text on one side, okay? Some of them have what the um, what sides plus minus, um, which wires plus minus. Some do not. Okay, if they don't. Then you've got to look at the back. All right, you see that arrow? That is your positive. So if I switch swap this guy over, that one doesn't have it. Right, this one that has on that side. Okay positive and there's the positive all right so that's what we're going to go with if it doesn't have the actual plus minus symbol on the connector all right so let's do these one at a time here's our hdd led okay and if we make life easier on ourselves i'm going to put which pins which here okay all right so i went ahead and uh crossed the front We've got one, three, five, seven, nine. And for this example, we will not use nine. And then on the back, it's two, four, six, eight, and there's no 10. Okay, so just as it says here. Now, um, you know, a real nice 3D uh, picture of this would be great. Maybe one day I will uh, create my own uh, just to make life easier on everybody. But we see pin number one, okay, you see a little plus sign. Pin number three is a negative, and there is the one and the three. So 
Let's go over here again and look at our uh, HDD. And it indeed has the plus minus symbol, okay? So we saw that pin number one gets the positive. So in this case, the text will face out away from the motherboard. So let's go over to our case. And I'm trying to um, make this as slow, do this as slow as possible. Um, so that you guys hopefully get the most out of this. All right, so there's our HDD connector. And we're looking for the JF P1 connector, okay? Don't get it mixed up with the JT, JTPM1. Now this will fit in here, but when you go to put the next one in, it won't. And you're gonna have a bad day, I think, if uh, you try and power this up that way. All right, so here we go. Positive, left side, going into pin one, negative into pin three, boom. All right, there's one done. Pat yourself on the back. So that was uh, that was the easiest one, right? Now, we could do the one right behind it, which in my opinion is the biggest pain in the butt to do. But we'll go ahead and do the reset switch. Now, all right, so you know the guide did not show you um, for some of these which one's positive, which one's negative, right? But in this case, you actually um, see it on the motherboard printed. So... Um, if you go back to the other part of the video where I discussed this, we know that, uh, obviously the HDD LED and the power LED had their markings. Um, and this shows you for the power switch and reset switch, which one's which. Now, Looking at our motherboard, we determined that pin five was negative and reset switch was plus, okay? So let's come over to this computer since it's easier to get to. Um, there is your uh, reset switch, okay? No plus minus on the front. And you'll see there's a little triangle, okay? So um, we need to make sure that we, there you go, there's a triangle, okay? so. That is your positive side. Now, we come back over here, looking at what I've, I've written out. For your reset switch, seven is positive, okay? So, five, seven. So we're gonna look at the front. Once again, JF P1, and we need to find the reset switch. There's our reset switch. Okay, so, positive, let's look at the back. Positive is on the right side, and we know from looking, um, before I put this in here, I'm lining it up. We know from looking at that that 7 is positive, okay? So, voila, insert, done, okay? What's next? Let's do the next easiest one. Power switch, okay? Once again, does not have a marking on the front. We look at the back, there is the... Uh, positive sign and it's on the right side of this so let's look at what we've noted here six and eight so six um is right there and eight okay so six is the positive all right six is positive so let's see if i flip that over we want um, positive on the left side. So in this case, text will fit, will face the outside. And this is where it gets a little harder to put these in, guys. Um, and if you can even see it. All right. Hopefully that's in right. So you want to, you, it's actually good to have like a little magnifying glass uh, to verify this stuff. But uh that is in, as far as I can tell. And uh, so now what we need to do is put in our power LEDs, all right? Now, 90% of the time, these are broke into two pieces, okay? And they will be labeled plus minus. Once again, you would look for the triangle uh, on the back if it, was a, uh, if it didn't have that. Now in this case though, 
These guys, um, I don't believe, actually have the triangle on them. So you have to look at the front. All right. Now, in this case, we know that two and four, okay, two and four, the left one is, um, here's two, that's positive, okay. Four is the one next to it, that's negative. So two is going to be positive, negative is going to be four. And now I just have to line these up. So if I were to put this in here like it is, it's going to be backwards, and that's not a good thing. Um, some places in the world you can get away with not having positive to uh, negative, etc. But, you know, definitely in a car and in some place in the computer, not a good thing. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in there. Um, and they are in. HD audio, so very similar to USB. You don't want to mix these up. Um, but you see where the missing pin is here. This is another nine pin. You've got to um, line that up with the missing pin on the motherboard, and it's just going to go. Um, basically, you want to make sure you come in straight down on these guys, and not uh, not at an angle, and then you always want to make sure that you have them in all the pins, which I do not. Okay, now I've corrected, and we are right over top, and boom, that's in, okay? This is what the little computer speaker looks like. These will come with your uh, case, okay? Some people are like, oh, it didn't come with my motherboard. Well, um... I'm going to say over 90% of the time, you're going to find these with your uh, case. They'll come in a little baggy with all the little uh, hardware. And uh, so that's where you're going to find this guy, okay? So, just so happens, happens we're looking at an MSI H310M Gaming Plus motherboard, okay? Not one of the best uh, motherboards in the world, but uh, for this example, it works. So, they... Um, show you that it does indeed have a speaker. So what we're going to be looking for is this jumper uh, JFP2. And you see they've noted where the one is. That's going to be our, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. one is the negative and four is the positive. Okay, so um, let us find this thing first. Um, I think it's that one right there. Let me verify it. And then we will do this properly, folks. All right, so when you want to verify something, you've got to go back in your guide and find, uh, in this case, it looks like German. Um, there's an English page, but I just so happened to find this one. So you want to look at your motherboard that will show the overall uh, callouts of what's what. And we zoom in here, you see there's JFP2. So um, always a good idea to you know bring things over like so and line these up. We are looking at this bottom side of it, and uh, so indeed, there it is right there. It says JFP2. So now that we know that, um, and we know the orientation, the pin to the left is the one pin, and that's where we want to put the negative. All right, so once again, here is our speaker. And we turn it over, and we see the little triangle is on that side, okay? Um, so in this case, text is going to be facing a different direction. And we're going to put that right in there, okay? And voila. So you can also see on the motherboard... Um, there is the print there, okay? Speaker, negative, buzz, positive, minus, speaker, positive, okay? So when we look at that from this direction, um, we see that face. And then we look at the speaker from this direction. And hopefully, you know, these angles are working for you guys. If I can get in here. Well, that's actually pretty loose. 
these cables are in your way. And there we go, folks. Now, depending on the type of case you have, um, if you have a USB 3.0, you're going to have a connector for a 3.0. And on this MSI motherboard, it is actually shown right here, connected. So here is the actual connector. It can only go in here one way. All right, you want to look for, if I can find it, there's a little opening here. You're going to line that up with that notch and insert. So I'll probably knock this thing over trying to do it uh, while it's on its side. Usually, you know, you put these, um, you put it on its side instead of having it sitting upright. But so from there, I would uh, go ahead and push this in and I'm going to put it on the ground so that we can actually do that. So there's your USB 3.0 connector. Now, if you have USB 2.0, there's a connector for that as well. So for the most part, you should have two locations for uh, USBs and uh, at least on the ATX style. Micro ATX is another story. You may only have one. And here is the USB uh, connector here. I'll pull it out so you can see it. It is uh, basically nine pins, so it is missing one there. It can only go in here one way. So when you're connecting, you want to make sure you find the spot that does not have the pin and line up uh, this guy to fit over top of that so that you don't break off the pin. And then that thing is just going to snap on in there. Now, if your case has four USBs, you'll have two of those um, USB connectors that I USB 3.0 connectors, okay? Now, if you have a USB 3.1 or type C, you'll have this connector here, which um, let me go ahead and pop it out of here. Some of these um, you have to be press things in. Um, there is your, if we can find it, there is your USB 3.1 connector. And uh, that just goes in easy enough pops in there like so. All right, so USB 3.1, we've got it lined up and inserted. All right, All right folks, so that's gonna do it. Hopefully you got something out of it. We uh, put the speaker in, we put the front panel case connectors in, we put USB in, we put HD audio. We did USB 3.0, we did USB 3.1 Type-C. All right, so, Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.